something else about the pet fang is before you put it together, anytime a machine screw has to screw into the plastic hole, do yourself a favor. Establish those threads, get it started before you put it, try and put it all together on the printer. It's a lot easier doing it flat on a desk or a workbench than it is while it's mounted to the printer and you're having to hold the print head with one hand and trying to start a screw and cut threads with the other. That sucks. So start it all first. And put a little lubrication on it as well. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to mention was when I printed this pet fang and base, the only thing I had was, oops, the only plastics I had were PLA, oops, come on, so even with the threads already started, it's a pain in the butt to get them on here. Come on, you can do it. Well, maybe you can't do it. How come you won't go in there? And I only had PLA and ABS, and I wasn't having a lot of luck at that point with ABS. So, I wasn't sure how much heat it got right where that pet fang mount was, but I thought, well, you know, I'll try it in PLA, and if it doesn't work, I'll save the thought, and I if I like it, I'll save the thought until I get, why can't I get that screw started? Until I get some PETG. Okay, where are we going here? This wanted to be down as far as possible to clear the hot end. So that screw hole is right at the top. Oh, there's a little bit of schmoo in there. Let's get the schmoo. Let's release the schmoo out of there. That's why it that's why it won't go in. So I've just kind of been keeping an eye on it to see if the PLA gets too hot and hits its glass temperature. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those fast forward moments. I still can't get that started. I don't remember having anywhere near this much trouble with it when I when I put it together the first time. Yeah, maybe we'll move on to a different one and come back to this one. There it is, right there, should start. It's just kind of awkward when doing it with a ball and Allen wrench. Come on, I know you're right there, I can feel you, I can't get it started. Let's try one of these others. Boy, that's being tough today. Sorry if I'm sticking my head in there, I need to get in to see it. And it's not proving to be really very friendly. Wires are where they belong. Holes right at the top. Jeez. Feeling really awkward this morning for some reason. There it is, right there. Ah, should start. <laughs> Boy. There it goes, got that one. Well, we've had some success anyway. Okay, and on mine, he, he designed this with slots in it so you could move it up and down and on mine it wants to be just about at the bottom of its play otherwise it's blowing on the heater cartridge which isn't really what we're after so hopefully the last two don't aren't as much fun as the first two that hole is right at the top of there And this one starts in without a fight. Isn't that weird? Funny how things work. Okay, let's go back over to the other side. Let's just get my soldering iron out of the way. Soldering iron has cooled off. It cools off after a while. 
So it's cooled itself off, which is a good thing because I don't need it sitting over there blazing hot anymore. In fact, we'll just unplug it to be sure. And let's get the last screw and get it on there. Let's not lose it. I don't think I have any extras, so I think I've already lost the one extra I had. If I haven't mentioned that little things are not my forte, not my forte, little things are not my forte. <laughs> I may have to run out and mag. In fact, you know what? I don't have to run out to magnetize it. I can magnetize it right here. <laughs> Maybe that'll help my clumsiness level a little bit here today. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> oh, I can't even try this one. I can't even get it on the wrench. <laughs> Come on, get on there. Won't be so difficult. And this is the one I absolutely could not get started before, and this time it starts right away. I guess the gods had their um, fill of laugh at me for dropping it so many times. <laughs> we'll just make a fool out of him on YouTube and then when we're done laughing we'll go ahead and let him get it done. <laughs> okay. As I was saying before I um, started my little burlesque routine, the PLA seems to be holding up. There doesn't seem to be enough heat where the pet fang bases to cause it to hit its plastic or excuse me its glass temperature and go all soft and and mushy okay pet's fang back on let's find some screws and mount our unit did I leave myself enough to do what I wanted to do hey you know what I don't think that's gonna work in the first place because of where those wires come through. I think it's got to come out this way. Yes, it does. Oh well, best laid plans. Maybe I can tuck them in under there afterward. And I don't know if I like that or not. We'll see, we'll see, we'll play with it. Let's get a screw in. And I think I was using these two and I actually do think I only have two here this I could shorten this one but I don't want to so it's going to be two for now and next time I get down to the store it's going to have to be another one so where did my nemesis that little wrench go to there it is <laughs> and let's see how awkward this is going to prove to be this screw is awful long now. I probably actually need a shorter one because this base is nowhere near as thick as the 10 millimeter fan was. We'll see. Run it in until you hear something break. Those are my rules. Well, there it is one screw it's on there actually pretty decently I don't think I'm gonna get that tucked under there and that's gonna be too tight anyway so I think I'm gonna pass on that idea change of plans always a change of plans and you know what I did not put that in the hole I wanted to but that's okay we'll leave it there as a placeholder for right now I wanted that in the hole up above but it'll be fine there for now and I'll move it here momentarily camera still kind of pointing halfway where it should be gosh it is okay let's get this one back out after fighting and oh gosh it's gonna be real fun getting it in that upper one isn't it hadn't quite noticed that before I definitely want them diagonally though if I'm only going to have two for now. Oh, well, let's get it back out of there. And let's see what kind of a huge fight it's going to be to get it to go into that upper one. 
But that's going to be fun. <laughs> yep. Oh, caught it. Do I have anything slightly not quite as long? I do not. Got to be this one. So I may have to back that other screw out a wee bit. Where's my screwdriver here? Yep, we're going to have to do that one first. Boy, this is going to be fun. If I think if I was him, I would have modified this intake. Of course, then it wouldn't have been much of a much of a velocity stack if it was um yeah that's going to be fun to get to isn't it i'm not sure i'm actually even going to get to that didn't think about that when i first put it together hmm really like that screw to be there i'm not sure how i'm going to go about getting that on it's going to have to start away but even away my wrench isn't, even the ball end isn't going to go on that very well. No, we'll give it a go. What can happen? What's the worst that can happen? Failure? I ain't nothing new to me. Hey, look at that. It's going. Failure is nothing more than an excuse to innovate. Oh, well, and have a beer. <laughs> then innovate. Okay, now we're taking it down. Oh, coffee. <laughs> Cheers. Make sure those wires aren't being pinched. Where's my flashlight? Yep, they're okay. wire these screws are going in deeper than they did normally because this base is nowhere near as thick as the original fan is in fact it's probably only about half maybe even yeah about half this thick so your screws are going to go in about five millimeters more than they did before now the pet's fang is nice and thick and that shouldn't be a problem for it but if i had a thought of it ahead of time I had to run the screws in first before mounting this, but I didn't. Okay, that's pretty solid. I like that. I'd have liked it more if I'd have left just a little bit more wiring to go under there. See if I can weasel it under there without it being too tight. Oh yeah, look at that, huh? Look at that. Perfect. Wow, that makes me very happy. Okay, let's turn it on and see what <laughs> see what explodes. I probably should have unplugged it first too and didn't. No blue smoke. Is the fan on? It certainly is. Now, one thing I didn't think of. Uh, can you see it in there? It's definitely running. One thing I didn't think of is it's probably running at 100% speed and these little fans are somewhat noisy at 100% but in the environment that I'm in here I don't really care because the AC is running I've got a fan over there running sometimes I'll have the humidifier going the coffee pots going my computers on and running although my new computer is deadly silent unless I'm playing a game or cranking the, the fans up and then I have headphones on so I don't care so, yeah, that's a little on the noisy side. So this is something that if you guys do it, if you object to the noise, you might want to find a slightly different fan or you might want to wire, a, what would you put in there, a resistor in there to um, lower the speeds down a little bit. But for me, I'm going to call it good for now. It is, let me get a, a piece of tissue here. Whoops, fell back in there. Actually, a piece of toilet paper, but that's life. Yep, we're sucking in there really good. So that means we're blowing the right way. 
and I want to get back in behind here and see, make sure that my string on my wires all looks good. I may, no, I don't really like that very much, but I have to admit that's kind of clumsy looking. You know what, I think I'm going to put one more wire tie around it. Let's go right here with it. And let's just take the strain off of that off of that other solder joint so it doesn't move around. Kind of just tie it all in right there. Am I getting what I want there? I know you got to be under there, right there. There we go. And we'll snip that off. And am I happier now? Yeah, I'm happier now. I, that doesn't really move. Yeah, that doesn't really move, so that's good. So I'm happy with that. Let me put my little cutters away here. And um, let's get a print started. Let's get some stuff cleared out of the way. And take all this back out to the garage and put it away later. And yeah, that's what that's what she's gonna look like. <laughs> I was laughing with my wife the other day, and I said, "This is gonna be the Ender Three Barbie edition. This thing is fabulous." <laughs> no, no bad jokes intended. Just funny jokes. Okay, let me get Cura up here. Let's say change SD card. Let me get the SD card out of it. And I've got a little a little a little thing here I want to print. And we will bring that up right away. I think I have it open in Cura. Oh I don't. Well that's fine. I'll go get it. Yeah, I thought I had that right here waiting for me to do, but apparently I don't. Apparently I closed those windows last night. So here's the zip file, and I know you can't see what I'm doing. I'm over here on my computer. Here's the zip file, and here's the file I want. I'm going to drag that out to my desktop. And let's open this up in here real quick. I've got my PLA setting for this ready to go. Oh, you know what? I don't have PLA in it. So we're going to have to change that first. How long we're we running here? Well, oh, I've been going on an hour. I'll tell you what, since I don't, since I have to do a filament change and I don't have the file ready, I'm going to stop this video for here. But you can see how it all went together. The fan is mounted. It's working. It's blowing in the right direction. Wires are tied away to make me happy. I'll kind of pick the camera up and give you a view around it so you can see what it all looks like. And um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a pretty happy camper with that. See if I can find on my next one, see if I can find some even gaudier colors to make it out of. But it sure makes it stand out when you're um, making a video and describing it to people. So I'm going to cut this off before it hits an hour. And thanks for watching. And I hope you got some value out of this. Bye for now.